Hello everyone and welcome to a Liverpool transfer news roundup. Going to provide you with some transfer news for Liverpool and the leaked 24-25 kits for home, away, and the third kit. So as always, if you end up enjoying the video, consider giving it a like and subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts on these transfer rumors and the updates regarding the transfer news surrounding Liverpool as well as your thoughts on the kits. Starting right off the bat with the home kit. The home kit for Liverpool next season, as you can see next to me right over here to the screen's right, my left. But uh, we have a you know mock-up that has been photoshopped onto Dominic Soba's slide. This kit has kind of been floating around for a while. It's been confirmed now that this kit will be used by Liverpool. And this person here, Ralito, I believe, they decided to... Uh, Edit it up in Photoshop and Dominic Soba slide. My initial thoughts, oh, that would look really good with a Premier League gold medal patch on it, like whether it's on the side or, you know, whatever it might be, or in the Champions League, that would look beautiful. It's absolutely stunning kit. Reminds me a bit of this season's kit with the collars. Obviously, there's the red line that goes through. Reminds me of this uh, the kit that Liverpool won the Champions League in. Uh, so very, very solid kit you know has these kind of i don't know if they're yellow or white pinstripe designs but it's kind of like got like a weird um i, I don't know if it spells you'll never walk alone uh, like ynwa or if it's just kind of some abstract tech like design but it's got some lines running through it no um no stripes right here on the uh on the the um the sleeve so not too bad, uh, but I think it looks great, honestly. You know, the red, white, and yellow is a fantastic color combination, and I have no, no bad words about this kit. Honestly, I quite, I, I liked it a lot when I first saw it. I'm starting to grow more and more to appreciate this kit, so if I were to have to give it a rating, probably, honestly, like, I'd say a 9 out of 10. This is a wonderful kit, and besides that kit, we also have the second kit the away kit and wow if you are a fan of f1 this reminds me of like the mercedes amg petronas kind of merchandise and stuff like that this kit is so clean it is a must cop the teal on the uh on the short sleeve right there the teal trim none around the collar it's a uh, i believe this is dark anthracite or anthracite i forget the color but it's supposed to be like a really dark dark kind of gray color with the teal i think it looks lovely the white logos for nike liverpool and the sponsor i think this kit is absolutely gorgeous i have it's my favorite one straight up it is i think there's nothing i would change about this kit whatsoever it's perfect so if i were to give it a rating fat 10 out of 10 wonderful kit and finally the third kit uh the second one was modeled on McAllister or photoshopped onto McAllister and the first one was photoshopped on Subaside. this one's photoshopped onto Trent and there's been some controversy around this one because I do like the design quite a bit the white with the kind of like I don't know what pattern that's supposed to be on the shirt but I don't mind the pattern too much I think that the collars and cuffs look really nice with the kind of inverted red and yellow kind of striping i think that looks phenomenal the red uh on the logo for liverpool is fantastic uh apparently has the black sponsor which I don't have a big problem with the thing that people have a problem with though is this double nike like swoosh that is instead of it going like you know a normal nike swoosh would it's vertical but there's like a red and yet a smaller yellow one that kind of highlights it. I thought that this was just like some kind of mistake on whoever photoshopped this behalf and they just didn't want to get copyright struck. But no, this is apparently the official design. There's another mock-up that went around about three days ago, so right around New Year's Eve, that, which confirmed this basically. So very kind of weird choice from Nike. I don't know if that's you know, what they're going to be doing for a lot of other kits, what their plan is with that. Um, but I, I don't mind this kit necessarily. I think it's still fairly fine. As a kit, all in all, I think it's lovely looking. 
the one kind of hold up with the Nike logo being a little weird and out of place. It's just kind of jarring to me looking at it because it's usually the other way. It's usually horizontal. But all in all, I don't have too many gripes with this. I'd give this one an 8 probably um, out of 10. Maybe, yeah, I'd say an 8 out of 10. I like it. Um, I would probably like it more with a regular Nike swoosh and not like a yellow and red one. Just one color is fine and keep it horizontal. And this kit would be like a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Finally, we're going to look at some transfer rumors for Liverpool and some transfer news. Starting with the transfer news, some loanies returning to Liverpool. Fabio Carvalho has been recalled from Malone. Uh, he did not receive that many minutes at RB Leipzig. Wasn't really getting to the side. And, you know, so he's coming back to Liverpool. The thought process is he's going to be loaned out again in January. Some clubs that are linked, Fulham, uh, Southampton. Leicester, and maybe a shocker, Everton. If I had a pick, I'd probably send him to one of Leicester or Southampton. Um, I know he played for Fulham previously, and if that could be used in this next transfer rumor that I'm going to talk about, which apparently might not happen uh, as a make weight to get a deal done, then maybe we can negotiate something with Fulham. But the other rumor is that Anthony Robinson, the U.S. left back from Fulham is linked to Liverpool. He was linked on December 28th, 2023, uh, basically 90 minutes reported. And I know they're not like that reliable of a publication, but bear with me. They reported that Liverpool were exploring the possibility of getting into contact with Fulham regarding Anthony Robinson, possibly bringing him in this season in January. But what has kind of happened as after that story broke within like three or four hours, uh, the Mirror reported that Liverpool won't be pursuing a deal for Fulham's Anthony Robinson in January amid reports that the Reds were preparing to launch an offer. So, Liverpool notoriously tight-lipped with transfer news. It should come as no surprise to anybody. Um, I don't think that'll happen, um, personally. I don't think that there's much weight to that transfer kind of going through just because... I don't know. I think Simikas is doing fine. I think Joe Gomez is playing pretty well there. Um, Robertson's on his way back, and he's our best left back. So, you know, do do you take a roll of dice on someone like Anthony Robinson when the squad already kind of has some set players who have proven that they deserve to play for the squad? No, I don't think you do. So hopefully this transfer doesn't go through as much as I would like to see an American play for Liverpool. End of the day, it's really just not worth it if it's going to disrupt squad harmony. Um, some other people that Liverpool have been linked with, there's some rumors floating around for Maxence Lacroix from Wolfsburg. He was linked in the summer, if you'll remember. Um, connection to York Schmatka, connection to the Bundesliga from Schmatka as well. Schmatka being the former technical director of Lacroix's current side, Wolfsburg. Uh, the familiarity there, maybe it could facilitate a move. Who knows? Uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, Joel Polina, not going to happen to Liverpool, more than likely, in my opinion. I would hedge my bets and say that it won't happen because he almost, well, he was about to undergo a medical and be unveiled. He was being unveiled behind the scenes for Bayern in the summer, but then they just, quite frankly, ran out of time. So that's kind of an interesting one. Um, also, Nat Phillips, um, I believe Phillips, yeah, Phillips has returned as well. From uh, Celtic, his loan has ended. I don't know if he's going to stick around the squad, if he's going to be sold. I love Nat Phillips. I think he's quality center back. I think he should be playing for a Premier League side, the level of like a West Ham or, you know, like a Brighton, like mid-table trying to compete for Europe. He he should be playing there week in, week out. And, um, I mean, if he stays with the club for the rest of the season and provides us some more depth, we don't have to sign a center back. And... If he doesn't, then I wish him nothing but the best of luck. But as for right now, the transfer window has kind of only just started. Um, I will be updating everyone on Liverpool transfer news, Premier League transfer news. Any huge stories that come out will get their own videos. Uh, but I'll be looking to do more of these kind of quick updates. I mean, this is run on about 10 minutes now. But either way, thank you so much for watching and making it to the end of this video. Let me know what you think of all these transfer rumors, what you think of Liverpool's leak 24-25 home away and third kits. And 
comment down below. Let me know any other video suggestions that you would want me to talk about, uh, topics that you would want me to cover. And as always, if you're new, consider subscribing, like the video if you enjoyed, and comment down below with your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'm Sideline Sato. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.